In assignment 12.1, the radius of the wire is given that is 0 0.321 millimeter and uh, it is asked to find the uh, resistance per unit length. In the next section, the potential of 10 volts is applied to that wire and uh, the wire is made up of nichrome. The resistivity of the nichrome is given that is 1.5 10 power minus 6 ohm into meter and you are asked to find uh, the value for the current. So first we are going to find the resistance per unit length uh, by using the formula from the topic of uh, resistivity or you can say specific resistance. According to the formula R is equals to rho L divided by A. L is the length of the wire, A is the area. We are going to find R divided by L so the relation will be R over L rho divided by A. Rho is the resistivity of the nichrome which is already given but we need to find the area. So to find the cross-sectional area A is equals to pi r square. Now we have the value of uh, uh, we know that pi is a constant and we have the value of for the radius so by putting so the value for the pi is 3.142 while the radius is 0 0.321 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 whole square. So by solving we get A will become equal to 0 0.3237 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Now I am going to put this value in equation number 1. So the value of for the resistivity of my chrome is 1.510 power minus 6 and the area I got that is 0 0.3237 tens to the power minus 6. So I will cancel these exponents and I will get the answer that is uh, 4.6 ohm per meter. So this is the required answer for section number uh, first. Now going towards second uh, section we have given the value of voltage and uh, asked to find the current so simply by using Ohm's law I can find V equals to IR and uh, the I will become equals to V divided by R. So by putting the values uh, V that is given that is 10 and the value of the resistance, resistance 4.6. In this section, they have already given us the value of the uh, length, which is 1 meter. So therefore, uh, 4.6 divided by 1, that will again give us uh, 4.6. So the required answer is 2.2 amperes. So the 2.2 ampere current will flow to the wire.